Most people who found themselves with toothache ended up in the hands of their local barber or blacksmith, who doubled as a surgeon. These amateur surgeons would use pliers or forceps to extract the rotten tooth, without any anesthetic to ease the agonizing pain. The water laser is a dental laser that enables the dentist to use minimal and in some cases even no anesthetic or drills to perform many routine dental procedures. The water lacy combines water, ira and laser energy for safe use on human tissue in the mouth. Technique called couching from the French word, coucher, meaning, to put to bed. In this method, a sharp needle is used to pierce the eye near the limbus and toe. The provider can manually dislodge the cataract, typically into the vitreous chamber and out of the visual axis. LASIK surgery is basically a laser-assisted change of corneal curvature which in turns reduces the dependence on glasses. However if there are fluctuations in eye power then there is a possibility of some recurrent eye power even after the LASIK surgery. An important tool to early farmers was the plow. The farmers used the plow to loosen the soil, allow moisture to reach the roots of crops and to keep down the weeds. In the fall crops were harvested. Most Iowa farmers raised corn. Some used the horse-drawn corn picker to harvest their corn. Others hand-picked the corn by walking through the field with a horse-drawn wagon. The ears of corn were thrown into the wagon as it moved slowly through the field. Rotary plows or tillers, sometimes called rototillers, have curved cutting knives mounted on a horizontal power-driven shaft. The pronged rotary hoe, a plow used chiefly for seedbed and weed control, works well at high speed. Garden sizes cut swaths from 1 to 2.5 feet, about 0.33 to 0.8 meters, wide. Tractor types, more than 10 feet. Pesticides are used in agriculture to control weeds insect infestation and diseases. A threshing drum beats the cut crops to break and shake the grains away from their stalks. The grains fall through sieves into a collecting tank below. The unwanted material, chaff and stalks, passes along conveyors called straw walkers toward the back of the machine. More grain falls through into the tank. We used to entertain ourselves more with social interaction before technology. Instead of watching television, we would play games and tell stories. More people played musical instruments, because that was the main method of entertainment. People also used to gather socially to talk and play non-technological games. Old people liked the actual print in newspapers better than the pulsating fonts on a screen. Easier to read, especially if you need to adjust the distance to your failing eyes. Playing a friendly round of video games is the definition of excitement. Some people like to play virtual car racing games like Need for Speed, while others immerse themselves on their phones, trying to finish the latest Candy Crush level. These games help you energize your brain. Movies are the easiest and most common form of entertainment that most people in the world consume. And thanks to the internet, you can just open your Netflix app and watch your favorite movie anywhere, anytime. You can even make a movie date with your friends and go to your nearest cinemas. Nothing's better than eating popcorn and sipping a soda while watching the latest movie with your friends or family. Just like movies. Television is another type of entertainment that is easily available and comes in a wide array of choices. Whether you like politics or drama, mystery or comedy, there is no shortage of shows that you can enjoy. In 1880, the Elementary Education Act made education compulsory for 5 to 10 year olds. 
This was after the National Education League had continued their campaign for basic schooling. In 1891, both board and church schools were made free to attend. Those children from a wealthier background were sent to grammar schools and taught Latin. Girls of wealthier families were usually educated at home. Poorer children were instructed in manual labor or what we call apprenticeships. They were also taught basic educational skills. The comfort of students was not taken into consideration, where school desks were basic wooden furniture and so too were the school chairs. These desks are now, for some, collector's items where the wooden desks show light in a 19th century classroom. The effective use of digital learning tools in classrooms can increase student engagement, help teachers improve their lesson plans, and facilitate personalized learning. It also helps students build essential 21st century skills. Virtual classrooms, video, augmented reality, AR, robots, and other technology tools can not only make class more lively, they can also create more inclusive learning environments that foster collaboration and inquisitiveness and enable teachers to collect data on student performance. Still, it's important to note that technology is a tool used in education and not an end in itself. The promise of educational technology lies in what educators do with it and how it is used to best support their students' needs. Teachers want to improve student performance, and technology can help them accomplish this aim. To mitigate the challenges, administrators should help teachers gain the competencies needed to enhance learning for students through technology. Additionally, technology in the classroom should make teachers' jobs easier without adding extra time to their day.